So today we're back out here on Hirschfelden to do the rest of our wild boar missions, and hopefully by the end of the video, we're gonna have another diamond wild boar for our trophy lodge. But before that, we're gonna have to do, I think, four different missions. And the first one is actually to get two wild boar with a handgun. So I wanna try to catch up to these guys. Unfortunately, the wind's not that good, and I think they're moving to their rest zone right now. But we have the 454, and you can get really quick follow-up shots with that, so much like the M1 in the last video, I think we can get two really quickly. We just gotta get them in a bit closer. I mean, 130 is doable, and they're alert at that range, so the thing is, the first one shouldn't be an issue. The second one trying to hit on the run might be. But that's one, and they go pretty slow once they decide what direction they want to run in, but I don't know what her problem is. But that should do just fine to get that mission done. I kind of thought that would take longer, to be honest, but they kind of cooperated pretty well, even though the wind wasn't that great. And of course, it actually helps to be using a really overpowered weapon for this, but it actually passes the ammo check and everything. Like, they made the 454 insanely powerful and then had it ethical for animals that it never used to be. But that's got our next mission unlocked. And... I have no idea from that little description what we're doing. Two boars down within 30 meters at Ritterstein Lake. And this is the one where we shot them in the rest zone before. I never actually got the rest zone, but it's right by this hunting pressure. So if we sneak in there, probably we can do that. The wind right now is blowing kind of west. So maybe if we come up from that tent, this might not be too bad. Okay, so... I guess they rest a little further from the water over here, but that should still be within the region. I just hope there's two. And the thing is, calling them in, they're going to be so close that there's really not going to be any delay in their fleeing. Like, we can't just shoot two like we did with the M1 at night in the last video. So I think what we're going to need to do, if there are two, is call them in and then get one really close and shoot one behind that, and then rely on the insane penetration of the 454 to just shoot the closer one as it's fleeing, just probably through the back end or whatever, because all we gotta do is get it down, but hopefully we didn't spook them, and hopefully they'll come in. I'm almost certain there's two. I can hear really faint footsteps somewhere else, but yeah, uh, we were gonna lose that on that one. It might... Ah. That's probably just too far away. And the thing is, we can't just go track it. I wonder... Where's the... I wonder if we can do this. Can we get close enough? I hear another one. Okay, maybe we can do this. If it comes where the other one did, which it's going to. And if I can spot it to see it. Maybe? Should be inside the region. And we know from last time, they can die outside the region, it's just a matter of actually being shot inside the region, so if I could get my hunter mate to actually work, that actually worked for that one. And surely the other one's gonna die, though. 454 is way overpowered on them. So hopefully that works. And yeah, it actually did. I thought that was gonna be way more difficult when I wasn't finding any boar up at the other spot, but he is talking about using a bow. Harvest three boars down with a bow. I wonder about the ground blind that we used last time because when I set that up there were actually other boars resting near there I think a different group of them entirely so this rest zone here it should be active right now the wind is probably not the best for that now I have the bow with me so if whatever just warning called there is a boar it would be nice to get a different one just checked off the list before we go down there but it's gonna be nervous from getting spooked, so probably we won't worry about that. Let's go see if there's any boar near that blind. Okay, so I guess they are here. Now, the thing is, I can't get my blind. It's saying maximum capacity reached. I have never seen that, especially not in single player. So, uh, I'm not really sure what the deal with that is. But, I mean, we can make this work. I don't know if there's anywhere I can actually get real cover, but even still, that's 40 meters away. If we could see a little better, I'd just take the shot now, but I at least want to have 
it's spotted. But I think we'll get the bow. It sounds like they're just coming right in, to be honest. We may be able to manage to. I'm not too sure that's going to happen, but we can try, I guess. Let's just get the closer one. And then, do you stick around long enough? Not really. Alright, well, we got one. I don't know if we should come back here, or maybe we should just move on to other ones, because we're not going to be able to call them in now for a while, because they're going to go nervous. But really quickly to show you, I literally just can't access my blind. I don't know if that's like a recent issue, maybe like blinds that you leave set up on a map suddenly don't let you back in when you return to that map. But yeah, max capacity reached. I have no idea what that's about, but I mean, they're resting right now, which it's usually a bit harder to find them, but I think we'll try somewhere else. All right, finally we actually have some more wild boar out here. I tracked a bunch down through Petershine, and I just never could find where they went. Their tracks kept, like, disappearing, and it didn't really make any sense. So hopefully we can at least get one of these and then maybe go back to the ground blind or whatever. But it's kind of a nice spot there, and we can at least probably get some cover here and bring them in good and close. I wonder if we took a 40-meter shot if maybe one of them would end up hanging around. I feel like maybe one of the back could end up not hearing it. I mean, that's going to be like intestines, but that'll bring it down pretty quick. I don't think any actually stayed, though, so maybe not really worth it, because we're going to have to track a bit more. Well, I guess we're not going to have to track a bit more, because wild boar barely run. But we can go and visit that ground blind again and probably get a third one, and finally get through this one, which it shouldn't have taken that long. I just could not find any... For like 30 minutes there, I spent tracking those pigs for basically nothing, but yeah, a little far back on that. But that's going to get our second one. With the way the wind is, I don't know that we could have used the ground blind anyway. Because even if we could get in it, they probably wouldn't get very close to us. But we managed to kind of sneak in here close, and I think we're just going to get in this brush right here in front of us. And hopefully get them nicely into bow range, because the last thing we need to do is miss our last shot here. I don't know if they're trying to get back to their zone or what, but they really don't seem to want to get any closer than like 45 meters, so I'm going to alert that one, I think. She should see us, and we're going to gain a little bit of room here. I can't believe she's not fleeing. Just stand still for a second, please. Alright, I know we hit her, we might have actually dropped her, and we did. Just, the last thing I needed was to end up having them walk away and it'd be like the last time where we were trying to call them across this field and they wouldn't do it but actually that worked out pretty good nice little hard shot and i think this will be the last mission before the diamond and using the bow at night apparently so hopefully it's only one pig this time and of course it's actually two but it's the bow that we have equipped and since it has to be at night i think we should go up to that drink zone that we had because there was more than two that were left alive there, and, I mean, it's an easy spot to get to, so I guess we're changing the time to about midnight again. Okay, so slight change of plans. I didn't realize the mission actually requires us to go to Ritterstein for this, so I want to try these couple of little lakes, because, I mean, along the river's difficult. If there's no crossing and the boars are on the other side, it's just going to be difficult to get them with a the bow. So I'm hoping these lakes could have a drink zone for them, and maybe we can just get it done fairly quickly, but... Yeah, I completely missed the region part of this mission. Ooh, so actually that's a good size 4. Max score estimate and max weight estimate. And I don't know if he's got any others drink in there, but... That's definitely going to be a start, so we got to get around to that side. Honestly, I don't see much reason to bother calling. We kind of ended up sneaking in really close just sort of because of where he was. So we'll just sit right here at 40. And if we zero for that, we'll have to aim a little bit right because of the wind. But I think we can get that, so I'd like him to lift his head. Actually, I think we may be overcompensated. It looks like Vital Blood, so maybe we weren't too far back, but it definitely hit further back than I expected. But yeah, that's actually a solid pig. Didn't really expect to be seeing that up here. 121.3, so he's still a good bit below diamond, but stomach liver, got the gold out of him. 
And maybe that's a good sign for potentially having one tricking up here, because if there is one, I believe that's going to be the last thing we need to shoot until we can go for the diamond mission one. All right, I don't know what he's doing, but there is a boar over there. So unfortunately, we couldn't get lucky enough to have one down at that other lake. So I came to the river, and I assume they must drink somewhere over in that area, but he was maybe just stuck on something. But we can cross right here, it looks like. And hopefully we can get somewhere close enough to get in with the bow, because I really just want to get through this mission and get on to what I think is going to be the mission to get the diamond. So, turns out there's actually a bunch over here, and I can hear them walking around. They're just up this hill a little bit to where I can't see, so I'm trying to really slowly get up here. Because I think we spooked them out of their drink zone, and I believe they might be coming back nervous. And I really don't want to spook them again, so hopefully we can get up here somewhere where we can see. I mean, it sounds like they're right there. And actually, that maybe is a fleeing one? Can we see enough to get a shot off? That'll work. Probably shouldn't have got lucky enough. Oh, they're actually going aggressive, so... Maybe we should uh, should have been able to get that lucky. We'll just take all of them for respawns, I guess, but... I believe that is going to unlock the mission we need anyway. One of those really scary looking boards? That sounds about right, so... Let's claim these and see what we actually have to do for what I think is the last one. So, yeah, harvest the huge boar. That should be it. And we're going to a logging area, which is probably somewhere. I've never been. None of these things have been discovered. So we'll go to the lodge here and change it back to daylight. So that wasn't difficult to find. There was literally a little hunting opportunity icon, which is now covered by a spotting icon, and he's just standing right on it, but... I always enjoy how they label it like huge boar or the albino fallow in the spotting. It literally said albino fallow, but I brought the camo 270. And we'll just go ahead and make a long shot there, because I think the camo 270 is what we shot the albino fallow deer with. And I just thought that would be good to bring it out again. And the 270 used to be one of the best boar guns in the game, but they kind of changed it to where some of those bigger calibers were actually ethical now. So I don't know if this has like some small chance of actually being a troll. I know there have been like mission animals in the past that could be like 948, 949 on the old system. So I don't know that this is a guarantee. Usually mission animals aren't like really high scoring diamonds except for the albino brown bear on Medved. So we'll see what we have here, but hopefully he makes it and can join the other one in the lodge. And he does, 144.7, so he's 0.5 above. Not too bad. And he's the lighter fur type for a male wild boar, which might actually mean he's different than the other one we have in the lodge. I think it is different, but that is the last mission that we set out to do, so we can go and take a look at that right now. And they definitely are actually the different fur types, so the left one's the one we had for a while now, and he's got a lot more like darker colored fur, where this guy's a lot lighter, but these are not the poses I want to keep them in, because I feel like they look a little bit weird like that. I kind of like these kind of things. I don't know. Maybe something like that, but yeah. Kind of found out that there was a Diamond Wild Boar in the Hirschfeld missions literally three and a half years after the game came out, but go figure. Been sitting there for that long, and now we have it in our new trophy lodge. So that worked out really well. We got a Diamond Goose out of doing the first half. I think the way the missions went, it was good to split them into two videos, and ultimately we ended up with two more diamonds for the lodge. So not too bad. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.